Hi, Kelly Matheson here with the Western Equipment Dealers Association Dealer Institute program. And uh, I, like many of you, um, are following the rules around uh, social distancing or physical distancing as they're calling it right now and self-isolating uh, because I do a lot of international travel and um, I'm doing my part by making sure I stick around home. So I thought I'd utilize this time to share some of the things that we cover in our parts and service aftermarket programs via video link. So hopefully you find them helpful. So in this video, I wanted to talk about optimization clinics. Now, many dealers have for years have done a great job of providing uh, safety, optimization, service and operational clinics on the machines they sell. And um, of course, under a certain situation, Many of us are being amp impacted by the government regulations around uh, the size of meetings or getting together or holding these clinics. However, uh, with today's technology, it's very easy to create online or video uh, information that you can share with customers. So if you can operate a smartphone or a tablet, you can create short specific videos to support your customers on the machines they purchase from you. So I thought I'd share some simple tips and, um, and tricks that might help you. First of all, decide on a platform. If you're uh, going to distribute it through LinkedIn or through YouTube or through your own website, decide on a platform that, that is really easy for your customers to access when they're in the field. Speaking of that, make sure that when you do run these videos that they're easily accessible uh, for customers to either download onto their smartphone because you have to remember they could be wanting to access the information once they get into the field and may not have uh, a great connection. So you may want to look at the format you're providing there. Keep them short, uh, three to five minutes, um, because some formats that you post them on, for example, have a time limit on how long the videos can be. So make sure you take that into consideration. Um, also, make sure you advise customers that the videos that you're providing don't replace the operator's manual. Uh, make sure that um, safety protocols are, are utilized in the video, but you don't want customers taking uh, shortcuts because of what you showed in the video and ignoring some safety information that is in their operator's manual. So always make sure that that's there. Again, break it into small bites. Um, for example, if you're doing an air seeder calibration or fertilizer rate calibration, planter calibration, maybe leveling um, or seed depth adjustments, um, or even general maintenance or service interval topics, make sure they're nice and short and concise, right to the point on the, on the product you're talking about. And again, refer to the um, manufacturer's operator's manual, specifically by page number. So when the customer can watch the video, they can also refer to the, the exact page or pages in the operator's manual that, that, um, so that they get the right information uh, to follow along what you're covering in, in there. Um, also, make sure that you uh, enroll and utilize your in-house talent. Most of you have some very qualified product support people, whether it's in parts, sales, or service, and make sure that you draw on their expertise to show your customers that you have a team of specialists that's there to support them. You don't always have to go back to the same people all the time, but utilize your expertise because it also utilize it as a training opportunity within your organization. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why should I have to do this? There's, um, there's lots of sources out there where customers can get information. And here's what's interesting is uh, Farm Equipment Survey say that four out of the top five reasons that customers switch brands are directly related to the dealer's ability to provide parts, service, and product support. Now, these are also the top reasons the customers say that they remain loyal. So we challenge parts and service managers in our programs to really ask themselves the questions, are we better than Google? Are we better than Amazon? Are we better than YouTube? Because if your customers are going to go to another website or another source to get information on how to get the best out of their equipment, that's also where they might decide to get their um, next piece of equipment or the parts and support on an ongoing basis. So you don't want to give them a reason to go somewhere else. So I hope this information is helpful. We want to make sure you're staying safe out there, uh, support each other through these trying times. And um, 
and please draw on, uh, if you need some help, come on over to our website, the Western Equipment Dealers Association, click on the training or dealer institute links, um, or reach out to me directly. I'm glad to help on any of these topics to bounce ideas off of. Our goal is developing people to grow your business. Uh, have a great season. Thanks for watching. Take care.